All right, he's right here. So my system's been online for about a month, and and uh, now it's not online. It went off by itself. Okay, so uh, so what happened last night is uh, the the battery bank ran out of power, and it was supposed to switch to grid power. Okay, um, and uh, and yeah. So and then uh, what happened is the BMS just no power. Okay, um, something happened to to make the BMS trip. So. Um, I think it hit a low voltage cutoff. Let's check it out. So, um, so there, there you can see that's the that's the voltage coming out of the uh, 3.98. So okay, so 3.98 is the voltage that's coming out of the BMS. Okay, but when I connect the positive. No wait, I got this. I got it backwards. It's negative. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, 3.98. Oh. When I connect the P negative to the uh, positive, I get 3.98. But when I connect it straight to the negative, I've got 22 uh, 22.7 volts. Okay. So the the pack has still got power, um, but the BMS isn't allowing it to to think. That's what's going on. Okay. So we got a 2.8 89 for number one. You've got 2.948 for number two. You've got a 2.942 for number three. Uh, we got a 2.49. Okay, so the other ones are 2.2.9 pretty much. This is like a 2.5 almost. Okay, that's the number four. That's the that's the problem one that I've had. So 2.91, 2.93, number 7, it's 2.86, it's pretty close to 2.9 still, and then 2, um, number 8 is 2.7, so that's actually the number 8 and number 4 are our lowest ones, this one's a, a Number four is 2.5, and number eight is 2.7. Everything else is pretty close to 2.9. So the, the the balance is way off. So what I could do is charge this one cell here to like 2.9. Uh, but what I'm going to try to do is wake up the BMS. Okay. So so yeah, if you look, if I connect P negative to positive, I'm getting. 3.98 volts. Okay, so there's there's not really nothing coming out. So I think what you're supposed to do to reset this guy is that uh, you need to short the the P negative to the B negative. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Okay, I'm just gonna the battery terminal. P negative to the B negative, right? Okay. Let's see if that worked. Okay, there we go. Oh, we got 16 volts coming out. That's no bueno. to manually charge the battery the charger I don't know um, let's go from negative to positive 22 volts there should be 22 volts coming out of this man and there's not so what's what's the deal there's only 17 coming out of here Seventeen volts coming out of there. It's kind of hot. Well, let's connect it back up again, I guess. Watch out for a spark. No spark. That's kind of odd. That's odd. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to charge that one low cell up with the uh, with my charger, 
and then see uh, see if we can get the pack voltage enough up where the the BMS will will start up again. We'll just leave this disconnected for now. Okay, what a headache, man. Okay, I got a good old charger back out here. We're gonna try to charge this one. I think it's because this one cell is so is really low compared to the other ones that uh, it's not it's not working. Okay, so I'm gonna individually charge this one. All right, so I've got hooked up to the battery number four, and we're gonna fire the charger up. Okay, start charging. And then I'm gonna monitor the voltage. Um, so the other ones are like 2.9 volts, right? Yeah, so this one is 2.5 volts. Yeah, if you remember, yeah, it was about 2.5. So I'm going to try to get that up to about 2.8 or something. So right now it's pumping 5 amps into it. And hopefully that'll wake it up. This this number four battery, man, that's the problem one right there. Since the, since the, when I, when, since I assembled this battery, that's the one that's been giving me the most grief. So I may have to return it. I'm not sure, man. I may have to return that one cell for to get another one. And then, and then yeah, we're gonna have to do the balancing game again. This is so frustrating, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go read up on this a little bit more. But right now it's 2.55 volts try to get that to like 2.8 and then we'll try to reconnect everything all right let's go. but so uh what i've done is uh i've connected my my sister was trying to do laundry and then uh, the machine didn't work so uh, uh what i did is i plugged the uh the washing machine back into the normal outlet so that that's how i have it set up right this is the power coming from the inverter the inverter has like no power even though there's solar i know i'm positive there's solar power coming in right now it's past 11 30 so there should be power coming into the inverter and there isn't so when it's on right now too so I should probably turn it off uh yeah man i don't know why this should have power coming from the grid and it didn't i don't i don't know why this shut off but i know there's no power coming from the battery for one thing so that's that's the that's the thing man okay so so yeah, um, so anyway, I plug this power strip back into this outlet right here, okay? This is the garage's outlet, all right? This one is the inverter. I went from here to here, and so now this, all that has power now. My refrigerator has power and all that stuff, so. Well, that's a bummer, man. It just died on me. So like one that. thing I can do is I can, uh, I can set the low voltage cutoff for the inverter um, to something higher, okay? So, so th this doesn't happen, you know, because we have that one bad cell have to like make sure it doesn't get below a certain number but but the BMS should be balancing it too so and it's it's not really balancing it all that much so I don't know what's going on <laughs> I would think the BMS would balance it too so but it's not so it should be taking some of the voltage from one of the cells and putting it into another one then I don't know so I wish I had like an app or something so I can see what it's doing but uh so now it's at 2.6 it's at 2.6 volts i'll just kind of watch it but uh yeah this is very frustrating guys <laughs> but it was working great for a whole month you know and then so i i let the power uh i charged my bike yesterday i knew like oh you don't got a lot of power in the battery bank man so it, it's going to switch over and i was like that's ah, fine if it switches over to the grid power it switches over to grid power and it's just you know that's what it's designed to do you know but uh yeah, I think we're going to have to replace that one cell. What a pain in the ass. Then we'd have to go balance everything again. And, uh, oh, what a headache, man. This is a, this is not cool. All right. Anyway, yeah, we'll figure something out. We'll see if we can wake the BMS up. All right, let's make up. Because there should be 22 volts coming out. The whole pack voltage is 22 volts. But... All right. Uh, so I'm looking at the specs for this Dally BMS, all right, on the Amazon website, and it says the over discharge voltage is 2.2 volts. Okay, um, yeah. So over discharge voltage is 2.2 volts. So it, it, there's 2.4, 2.5 in the in the pack. Maybe there's a 
Maybe there's a variance, you know, that it doesn't like between those the cells. I'm not sure, man. But I'm going to charge this one up just a little bit, and then we'll try to reconnect everything. Um, but so whatever reason, the yeah, there's something up with the BMS. <laughs> All right, here's me out. Okay, so uh, I've been charging the battery. It's at like 2.7 volts right now. When it gets close to like 2.8, 2.9, I'll plug it back in. Uh, what I might do is charge that one that's at 2.7 back up. Um, everything is around 2.9 volts, and uh, so this one is at, was at like 2.2.5 almost. Okay, and the other one is at 2.7. Number four and eight are kind of low, so I'm gonna go charge those up to 2.9 volts, and then plug everything back in, and hopefully it'll work. <laughs> so that's the only thing I can really do, man. Um, I'm thinking maybe because the voltage variance between the cells is, is a lot that the BMS doesn't like it, and, you know. But it should be it should be balancing it, you know. Um, but yeah, I'll go since since it's pretty low since the pack is pretty low, I can I can just kind of manually balance it right right quick. That's what I want to say. All right. So um, I guess I'm just not gonna. I was gonna go working. I was gonna go out and work today, but it just kind of it's kind of slow in this area. So. I think I'll just, I might work tonight. We'll see if I can get this thing back up and running. Um, I, I, I would like to get it running as soon as possible because there's sunlight right now and we could charge the battery bank back up. But yeah, so this sucks. Um, yeah, the battery monitor should be on, okay, regardless. So uh, it's definitely, the, I think there's no power coming from the pack, okay. It's really odd. Okay, uh, I'll, have to figure, I'll, I'll do some research on how to how to wake it up too, so. But I might as well just do a quick balance, real quick, <laughs> quick manual balance. So this, uh, where this would be like a, a bottom balance, okay? So <laughs> what it is? So what we did last, the, the, when I first built the batteries, we top balance, we charged it all the way up, and we made sure, and then we put it in parallel so all the, everything was balanced, okay? And so now I'm individually charging the bad one, okay? The one that's low when while well, the battery's at a low state of charge, okay? Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, guys. So uh, the cells are um, the number four cell is at 2.78. It's like two, almost almost 2.8. Um, I'm gonna go check the uh, check the output voltage. Um, I'm just gonna read it off to you guys. So I'm gonna go from P negative to positive here. Okay, I got 23 volts, so it looks like the BMS woke up. <laughs> so I think we should be good. But I'm so I'm gonna go try to bottom balance this pack real quick. Um, I'm just gonna charge at number four and number uh, number eight cell. Okay, so before we plug everything back up. But but yeah, we're kind of we're losing valuable uh, solar power time right now. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it looks like it looks like it's because that one cell dipped below, way below the other ones. Okay. Um, after plugging the charger in, I got full power coming out of the, the thing, so um, maybe it woke up by itself. I don't know, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we'll, uh, so I'll have to remember that. Um, I think I'm going to have to return that battery, the number four battery, see if I can get a new one, or at least uh, see if I can buy a new one and then return this one. I I don't know what I'm going to do with a one cell wire, <laughs> you know, but, uh, but yeah, man, this sucks. I, I've had nothing but problems with that number four battery. The, this whole time it's always lowered in the it's always yeah it's always lowered in the other one so or it's always higher than the other one so that's what happens when you have a cell that's imbalanced or like the, its capacity isn't proper uh, properly matched to the other ones um, it it could get too uh, so when when you discharge it uh, all the other cells could be like they're they're balanced right they're the same voltage but this one is lower than the other one so when you discharge it the, this one cell could over discharge okay look fortunately that didn't happen it hit two point um, well the BMS did its job that's what happened so uh, it shouldn't get lower than 2.5 and it, it was it was like 2.5 so I I think that's what happened um, the voltage dipped below 2.5 and said oh, no more cutting the power off so um, and then and then that whole that brought the whole system down because there wasn't any power uh, there wasn't any power going to the inverter so uh, I don't know what to do man I think what we're, we're gonna do is uh, change the low voltage cutoff on the inverter to make it higher so it cuts off at a higher voltage so this doesn't happen so what I'm thinking is like it um, the state of charge got low and then the automatic transfer switch kicked on the inverter and and then uh, it connected the grid back to everything else but uh, but then I guess 
it, it seemed to be running fine because I was checking, I, I looked at the app and I was looking at, oh, it looks like we switched to grid power. Boohoo. <laughs> Yeah, it ran for a few hours and then it just stopped. So I don't, I don't, I'm pretty sure it wasn't drawing power from the battery. It was drawing power from the grid. And then I guess maybe the voltage of that one cell just kind of, it dipped below 2.5. And then, and then it said no more power. And then it, so it cut the power to the inverter and then the inverter turned off because there's no power. There's no power from the solar panels. I don't know why it's not turning on because the solar panels should have power, right? So yeah, that's kind of odd. Uh, but anyway, um, I will. I'm gonna do like a quick bottom balance. I'm gonna charge that number four up to like 2.9, and I'm gonna charge the number uh, number eight to two point. So that's another thing. Like yeah, you could possibly overcharge your battery too. So if it's not balanced. So I, I'm thinking we're probably gonna be overcharging it now. But um, what we gotta do is we gotta find a cushion, okay, between the upper and lower limits. So like it stays between there, okay. So I, I don't know man, This is that's the way this is supposed to work. When the battery gets to a low voltage, it connects to the grid, you know. It, it sh you know, I shouldn't have to do this, <laughs> okay? This stuff, uh, but yeah, so, but there you go. Uh, to wake up your BMS, you you need to, uh, and I'll show you guys how much, how much volts it is. I, I'll show you the volts. Because so remember, remember it was like a 3.9 or like 16 volts or something before? So there's the negative, there's the P negative, and this is the positive all right and we're getting 23 volts now okay before it wasn't outputting anything okay or it was, it was like 3.9 volts all right i could connect it to right here too a little plug here yeah see 2.3 okay so so yeah there's proof that it, it just woke up <laughs> so so yeah, that's really frustrating. My my sister came in, uh, co was complaining like, "Hey, the washing machine's not working. What's going on here?" And this, I was like, "Ah, oh, damn it!" So I had to get out of bed and figure troubleshoot it. And yeah, I found that one cell at like 2.49 or something. So I think yeah, just just I think it probably just happened just now too, like not long ago. So so that's what could happen if you're uh, if you let your cells get too low and the BMS kicks in okay but that that is alarming that that one battery it gets low that way it shouldn't be like that um, the other ones are 2.9 so you got a, a volt voltage variance of like point point four volts almost half a volt that's pretty bad that's not good okay it's not good um but it, a, a good thing is like the battery's not damaged or anything so so that's good um all the all the safeties you know the bms did their job okay so uh, but yeah, this is it's just kind of frustrating. So uh, what I might do is just leave my charger here. So if I need to do this again, uh, but I will contact Veracore and then see if I can get a new uh, get a new battery um, for that one bad cell. And uh, yeah, that's kind of frustrating. And then they're in, all the way in China, so it could take a long time. I want to I want to be dealing with this. Uh, but uh, but like as long as I keep the battery bank up, uh, it should be fine. It's like but I just happened to over discharge it too much yesterday because. Uh, um, I was charging my electric bike. I said, ah, it's okay, you know, it'll switch to grid power when it gets low. And then, well, it didn't. After one month, it didn't do it anymore. <laughs> but I, 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 the system has been running on uh, solar power the whole time. It's been all battery power. So it, it did its job for a whole month. But, but yeah, uh, I can't have it. The, the way, the way this, I built this system was if the battery bank reached a low state of charge, it was going to switch over to grid power, you know. And if 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 the battery bank cuts out on me because the BMS you know disconnects it then and then the inverter doesn't work and it, so there's a whole system it just throws the whole system out of whack okay <laughs> it's, not to, it's not supposed to do that it's supposed to connect it to the grid and work on that but the, but then the battery dropped low enough so it, it's dependent it really it needs power from the uh, it needs power from the battery to work that's the why the inverter cut off okay um, I'm hoping when I plug everything back in it'll be fine all right so we'll, when that happens we'll see all right, I guess I'm just gonna skip work this afternoon. <laughs> All right, here's me go. But yeah, but also a good another good test was like, yeah, hey, you know, if anything happens to the system, all I gotta do is unplug this and plug it into another outlet. So and it worked, okay. Um, I plugged the I plugged the garage door opener just in case I needed to open the garage door. I plugged the washer back in because my sister wanted to do laundry, and I plugged the refrigerator back in um, because uh, you know I don't want my stuff to get cold <laughs> to get warm basically okay so um yeah it's just really frustrating but um 
hopefully uh hopefully uh I, what i will do is i will just a low voltage cut off a little bit higher maybe like half a volt higher so this doesn't happen again <laughs> uh, but yeah we should test it we got to test this out so maybe i will discharge it again but uh i'll eh, i'll let it charge for a while so so, so if, when this happens again um we'll we'll see you know if that setting is better we'll have to keep it at that setting for now because we can't have the whole system coming down because the battery craps out on us okay um yeah it's kind of annoying but but it you know in like an emergency situation you know we could just i could just switch everything back to the grid okay all right cool yes yeah all right it's me here it's been like half an hour and i think it's time to pull it off the charger um so we're at like 2.94 now the other ones were about 2.2.9 2, i think 2.94 is the highest I, I so i guarantee you if i pull that off right now the voltage will start sagging a little bit okay so i'm sure it's 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 reading that high because it's being charged right now because the, the charger is putting 3.2 volts into it so it's getting pretty warm so um what I, what i will do is i'll on I'll shut the charger off, and then we'll charge this one, the one that's like 2.7 volts. We'll charge that up to 2.94 also, and then uh, and then I will check this one again, and then and then if it needs to be charged up again, and uh, I will charge it because the the rest of these are 2.9 while not just just resting. Okay, this one is being charged. So, okay, okay, yeah. So I just shut the charger off. It went from 2.945 to 2.94 just now. Oh, now it's, now it's getting even lower, see? So I'm probably going to have to hook that up again a little bit later, but let's uh, let's connect it to this one now. Okay. okay, so this is number eight. This is the other problem cell, 2.7 volts, okay? I just threw the charger right on it, so this should, this will probably start going up right away, too. All right. Okay, he's my hair. It's about... Oh, I just turned off. <laughs> Um, it's about uh, like half an hour later. It takes about half an hour to get these up to thing. But uh, we're at 2.942 now on um, cell number 8. Okay, I know there's some other ones that are a little bit low, but I think it's fine. They're all pretty close. So, Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this off in a second or two and then uh, then hook everything back up. Alright, let's bring it up. Uh, let, me, let me check this number 4. I'm just going to read it off to you guys. So if you remember, it was it was two point. I charged it to like two point nine four also, and it's at uh, two point nine two right now. Okay, I think I think that's fine. I'm just gonna leave it like that. It should be fine. I wouldn't want it to overcharge. Is what what we don't want. Okay, because that one is a low capacity. Kind of sucks, man, when they're not you know balanced like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull them off now. All right. Um, so you'll see the voltage just suddenly drop when I turn the charger off. Okay, so we're at 2.946 right now. Well, that climbs up fast. All right, I'm going to stop it. Okay, and it just dropped to 2.941. Okay, perfect. That's all I wanted. All right, so now we're going to go hook everything back up. Okay, uh, let me, before we do anything, let's connect the negative and the positive. Okay, I'm getting, I'm reading a 23.38 volts. Okay, that should be good. So, start, hook everything back up. All right, um, we're probably gonna get a spark. Okay, just a teeny tiny little spark. Oh, we got power back. I wish I had uh, what I what I should have is a battery cutoff switch. So uh, it says we got four percent charge right now. I'm not gonna run any of the loads for a while. I'm just gonna let the battery charge. Just gonna connect this terminal back up. Yeah, I gotta get like a battery disconnect or something. Okay, now it's charging. So it's at 4% and it says it's charging. Hallelujah. Or anyway, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the uh, the voltage cutoff. Let me see where that is here. I'm gonna I'm gonna raise it like I'm gonna I mean I'm, yeah yeah did I say lower I said it's gonna raise it. <laughs> We're gonna raise it like 
half a volt. How about that? Um, okay, setting voltage point back to battery mode. Okay, no, no, setting voltage back to utility, 23 volts. Okay, so it's at 23 volts right now. We're going to set it to 23.5. Okay, that's number 12. So I'm going to hit enter here. I'm going to go to number 12. If anybody knows how to silence that or mute it for a little while, let me know. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so we're going to go set that to 23.5. How about that? Okay, so I've set the, the voltage cutoff a little bit higher, okay? Is what I'm going to say. All right, and maybe uh, maybe we should set this one a little bit higher too. The solar priority setting uh, setting voltage back to battery mode is 24.5. So maybe maybe let's make it 24.7. So I think that one is number number 13. Let's make this one 24.7. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we're what's going on here. We've got 89 volts only going in and 500, 600 watts. There should be like 100 freaking volts, man. It's, what time is it? Yeah, it's like it's like two o'clock and it's not putting out the full power right now. Oh, there we go, 100 volts. So it's putting 22 amps back into the battery, so that's good. So um, I, I'm just going to leave it hooked up. I'm not going to put any loads on it for a little while. We'll wait till it gets to like, like 20% or something. Okay. It's got 12 amp hours in there, so. But it's charging pretty fast. It's charging up 20 amps right now. Okay. That's about, that's about the max charge for the system. Okay. All right, so yeah, I probably have to write down my new settings in here. Okay, so now we no normally we wouldn't have to do something like that, but because this this weak battery here, we have to do that. Okay, so so that way, um, if if this gets too if this gets too low, that that you don't want this to trip it. So that's what happens. Okay, if uh, if your voltage cutoff is not somewhere where like this, you know. Where this would um, get in trouble with it, then um, well, this would be disconnected is what I'm going to say. Okay, if you set it too low, then and you and this trips, okay, you're going to have to like manually charge it. It's it's a real pain in the ass, so don't let that happen. <laughs> That's the first time this has happened. All right, guys, I don't know how. Um, I think we're going to have to see if we can get this battery replaced. I don't know how that's going to work, man. I'm going to try to work with Veracore and see if I can get a new battery. I, or at least even just buy just one battery, you know, if I could just buy one battery then charge it up to like, you know, however many volts the other ones are and then um, and then yeah, so it shouldn't be that hard as you can see it actually didn't take that hard to charge one battery with this charger Okay, now if you're trying to charge all of them with this battery charger, then yeah, it's gonna take freaking forever All right, but one isn't too bad. Okay. Um, it took like half an hour pretty much. All right okay so yeah let's just we'll just let it charge the rest of the day and i think everything should be fine um yeah we lost we lost almost like three hours of sunshine so that's kind of sucks man um i will uh i'll keep everything off until like the sun comes down how about that and then i'll turn everything back on uh, depending on how much um but we should probably i you know we should probably test and see how uh um we should probably test and see again. <laughs> see, see if the uh, um, see if the low voltage cutoff will work again. Okay. Um, yeah. So maybe maybe when this gets to about like ten percent, I will I will start putting loads back on. Okay. But right now I have all the breakers off. So. All right. Oh, you know what? The internet. The internet shouldn't be working then. That's kind of odd. Yeah, the internet shouldn't be working because the internet the internet hasn't been working the whole day that's odd no but yeah nobody complained that there is no internet nah, that's interesting okay let me at least turn the internet back on which one is this uh compressor number three yeah let me turn it 
Okay, well, I didn't know that, like, hey, nobody's complained that the internet wasn't on. <laughs> That's funny. There should be power. I don't know why there's no more power. Oh. It was supposed to be the air compressor one, right? Huh. Yeah, number three is the compressor. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. The oh, the inverter's not on. <laughs> That's why it's not working. Sorry, guys. Brain fart. Yeah, I forgot to turn the inverter on. So there you go. Now the inverter. That's because I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the light. It says it's charging, but it's not, the inverter's not on, okay? There you go. I forgot to turn the inverter on. Okay, now the inverter's working, and now the internet should be working. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait a minute, the internet's not working. I forgot the internet is connected to the inverter, man. <laughs> okay, there we go, I got power now. All right, <laughs> I just like, I had a brain fart moment there for a second. I was like, how oh, come there's no power? I'm like, oh, yeah, the freaking, uh, the, the inverter's not on. I turned the inverter off. So, so yeah, there you go. If you plug... If you plug the battery bank in to your to your inverter, it will it'll turn on. It'll start charging, okay? But but then the inverter might not be on also. So so that's probably why this guy is uh just a solid green. It's supposed to be a blinking green when it's properly connected. Um it's because the internet's not working right now, so it's not sending data to the um, to the thing. All right. So annoying. All right. Well, uh, we'll do the thing. So uh, we'll at least keep, I'll at least leave the internet connected. All right, here we go. Okay, we're gonna do a quick uh, pack voltage check. All right, well, not pack voltage. Yeah, I guess we could check the pack voltage. What is it? Pack voltage is 24 volts right now. All right, it's char it is charging. Um, all right, so pack one, I mean battery one, is three volts. Battery two. Is three volts. Battery three is three volts. Battery four, that's our trouble one, is three volts. That's good. All right. Battery five, three volts. Battery six, three volts. Battery seven, three volts. And battery eight. Three volts. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe maybe the BMS is doing its thing. It's it's balancing the batteries right now. So uh, that could be what's happening. Uh, why the why everything looks good. So um, I'm I will be I will be watching this. All right. So we might I might do load tests tonight. Okay. Um, I'm gonna let this charge up to to I'm gonna let this charge up to 10% and I'm gonna start hooking up loads again. Okay. Maybe when the washing machine stops working, I'll I'll plug everything back in. Okay. Um, so far, I've only got the internet hooked up. Okay, I totally forgot. Like, oh, the internet doesn't work. <laughs> All right, here's me go. Okay, so this is the Shine app right here. Um, so you can see here. Oh, oh, what happened? Okay, so it just reset it itself. Um, so, so this is what happened last night. Um, it was uh, not charging. Oh no no no. Okay, see, so yeah, I was running normal. And then around seven o'clock, the battery bank ran out of power and it switched back to grid power. Okay, and then it seems like around, yeah, around noon, I think when my sister tried to use the, the washing machine, for whatever reason, the voltage on the battery pack dipped below, um, the, the BMS disconnected, okay? And so that killed the power in the garage. Um, because like the whole, the whole battery bank just cropped out, <laughs> okay? And so now we got so now we got power again. So we're at it's a 1340, and it's using power from the grid. It's actually not using power from the grid right now. If you look at it, um, I might look at it later. But yeah, it, so there's a there's a see there's a utility right here. Okay, so I notice this says open ground. This is supposed to be this is actually supposed to have two lights. This is a um a, a outlet tester, guys. Uh, this should be a light here and a light here if it's running normally, but right here it's open ground because we need the I haven't bonded the neutral and the ground on this system, okay? Um, but it's it's been working that way, so I you know, I don't you know, but anyway, it's not um, It's not gr drawing power from the grid right now. Okay, so basically right now I think right now it's charging the battery and then the loads are being powered by the solar panel, okay? 
um, it should kick back on to the inverter should kick back on now so I mean it is it is running right now it's not grounding anything from the grid anymore so but there's hardly any loads in here so we're at 6.4 percent all right well, we probably won't have that much more power so um, yeah so we're gonna have to I'm gonna test this test this tonight um, basically I'm gonna connect everything back on and then we'll see what happens so it should connect back to the grid when the power gets too low okay because we didn't we lost a lot of sunlight today unfortunately I don't think this is gonna charge all that much but this will be a good test to see you know um, to, to tune the system so this won't happen again <laughs> all right all right it's big out